my imagination This is more than a dream come true Without the slightest bit of hesitation I knew what I was meant to do Shipping in and buying Mr. Buchanan this thank you present for taking us camping again this year. I'm sure he'll be thrilled. It's an excellent gift, as knives go. With a knife like this, I bet Mr. Buchanan could survive for months in the woods without anything else. Except for maybe a good bottle of Beaujolais. <laughs> you know, this Mr. Buchanan sounds like quite a guy. Yeah, well, he's Jason's dad, and he's kind of old and everything, but he's great. He even tells us to call him Kyle. Oh, well, maybe you better get him a better gift. Ah, you're going to need a good sleeping bag. This one's good to minus 20. Good choice, Dr. J. Well, you know, with all our breakthroughs in modern technology, you still can't beat the insulating properties of a goose. Hey, Andrew. Andrew, how's it going? All right. Let's go, man. All right. You all ready for the weekend? Just about. Dr. Jeffco just helped me pick out a new sleeping bag. Hey, guys. Oh, hi, Andrew. How's it going? Hi, Mr. Buchanan. Call me Kyle. See? This is Dr. Jeff Coat. Hi, Jeff. I'm Kyle. It's, uh, it's Jeff Coat. Oh. Oh, hey. <laughs> you don't want this one. You want a man's bag. Here, here. Feel this. This is good to minus 40. You can't beat those synthetics, huh, Jeff? Oh! <laughs> Well, we'll see you Saturday, bright and early. Okay, guys, let's go check out the crossbows. Okay. Let's go. See you later. later. Bye. Quite a guy, huh? Yeah. He just can't beat those synthetics. Well, that's just about everything. I can't believe we're really leaving. I started crossing off my calendar six months ago. So did my dad. This is going to be great. Tonight, you play capture the flag. And tomorrow, your dad takes us on that all-day survival hike. And then, and then, he makes us find our way back. And then we all go and look for Jeff. No, <laughs> this year I bought a flare gun. Hey, your dad's home. Great. I wonder if he brought us anything. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Uh, what'd you bring us this time? Nothing. Trip's off. I'm sorry, guys, but your big buddy's got to let you down this time. I just got the contract to wipe out that library on Simcoe. They're putting up a parking lot. I'm sorry, guys. Maybe you can find somebody else to take you. Dad can't tell one end of the canoe from the other. My dad's allergic to everything outside of the house. Doesn't matter. It wouldn't be fun without you, Mr. Buchanan. Hey, Kyle. Guys, be at my house in a half an hour. And be ready to go camping. Dr. J. Can you? Andrew, look at this. It could be the breakthrough of my career. What do you see? Nothing. Come over here. Now look, what do you see? It looks like an eyelash. No, 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 not there in the middle. Look. Oh, yeah, some blue gunk. That blue gunk 
could represent the end of 20th century man's dependence on fossil fuels. So, since you're not doing anything important, could you take me and the guys camping this weekend? What happened to the guy with all the teeth? He's tearing down the old library on Simcoe Street tomorrow. His mother must be very proud of him. So, what do you say? Can you take us? There's no one else. Andrew, thank you for your kind offer, but I really am on the verge of a major breakthrough here. That's okay. Good luck with your blue gunk. So what's the deal? No dice. I asked Dr. Jeffco to take us, but he's too busy. Good thing. Yeah, bring your great ideas by us next time. What are you talking about? Dr. J's cool. He's boring. But in an interesting way. Be like going camping with your chemistry teacher. Just cut it out. He's not doing it, so let's just drop it. We're busy. Gentlemen. Guess who's taking you camping this weekend? You think we'll get there before Sunday? Ah, this is the life. The open road. Can you go any faster? Fast is not efficient. We can be proud that we're keeping the emission of pollutants down to a minimum. I mean, my day. I thought that maybe tomorrow we could do some spelunking. Yeah, are we old enough for that? Spelunking is the exploration of caves. We ought to be able to hunt down some of this rare lichen. It's indigenous to the area we're going into. Go ahead, there's one for each of you. Finally here. Yeah, I didn't think we'd make it. Well, here we are. Ugh. All right, let's get this weekend started. Last one in's a wet toad. Yeah, water, man. Yeah, cold water. Taking your shoes off? No way. Hold on, hold on. Let's set up the camp first. You don't want to be putting up the tents in the dark, do you? Come on, guys. It'll only take a little while. That's right. You'll thank me. Not in this lifetime. I don't believe Might as well stay at home. <laughs> Starving. You're the one that forgot the matches. Which is why we can't get a fire started. Which is why we can't cook any food. Which is why you'll be quiet. How'd you do that? The way the Indians used to do it. Principle of friction. Way to go, Dr. J. Let's get this dinner started. I'm so hungry I could eat a moose. Great idea. I brought along a good cross-section of dark green and yellow-orange vegetables. Just what your body needs when it's going to be out in the open air for an extended period of time. For a second, he was okay. Well, what should we do while we're cooking dinner? My dad always tells us scary stories. No problem. I've told a scary story or two in my time. Do you have one with a girl in it? Are there any other kind? <laughs> All right, start talking. I was a, an undergrad back in 71. I was doing an experiment in the chemistry lab. Was it thunder and lightning? Yes, I believe it was. Just like in Dr. Frankenstein. I was boiling down two nitrogen groups with toluene, which any fool knows is harmless. Uh, yeah. yeah. Of course. Yeah. It's gonna be my big moment. Well, I let them boil down a little too long. TNT? Yes, it was horrible. The lab blew up into a million bits. No. Darlene Peters, the teaching assistant, turned off my Bunsen burner just in time. Well, what's so scary about that? I only got a B. So was Darlene pretty? Who cares? She's old now. Oh! I almost forgot. I brought along something else for us to eat before dinner. Another vegetable? Yes. Chili, cinnamon, and cheese-flavored popcorn. Okay. I know it's full of additives, but what the heck. We're supposed to be having fun. 
I've got a story that'll scare you to death. Jeff, you better cover your ears. Okay. These two teenagers were necking in the back of the car at Lover's Lane, right? And they hear on the radio that this crazed psycho with a steel hook on his hand has escaped from the asylum. What was that? Anyway, just then they hear a scratching sound on the window. The girlfriend asked the boyfriend, what could that be? That way they said, oh, well, it's just, just nothing. <laughs> so they go back to necking in the back seat of the car. The scratches get louder, too loud to ignore. So the boyfriend jumps in the front seat, drives as fast as he could, all the way home without even stopping. And when they get out of the car, it's on the handle. A hook. <laughs> That was a good one, Dad. That was good. That was great, Mr. Buchanan. Kyle! Hey, great. Huh? Kyle made it after all. Yeah. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> great. survival hike oh it was great i passed out in everything what a morning i'll never walk sorry maybe i should have woken you up yeah sounds like i really missed out what'd you do oh i had a wonderful time i spotted a family of pileated woodpeckers do you do you still do you still want to go on that nature walk sounds cool all right, boys, first and last call for windsurfing. All right, yes, let's yes. go. Right, get your trunks and follow me. What I tell you guys. Well, you're the greatest. What a guy. Come on, okay? I bet my dad will let us ride blindfolded just like last year. Where's my towel? Right beside you. No. Maybe next time. Dr. J and I made plans to go on a wilderness hike. Oh, thrills galore. I never realized there was so much to look at out here. This is great, Dr. J. Hey, can you eat these things? That's the bog cranberry. Yes, it's edible. <laughs> I said it was edible. I didn't say it was good. Ugh. Ah, look at this. I think I've had enough of the bog cranberry. No, 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 no. This is nightshade. It's poisonous. You see the way the leaves curl up? Shh. The sphinx moth on that stump over there. <laughs> Is 
a step. Sphinx Moth is a master of camouflage. <sighs> I'll say. That's how they protect themselves. They blend in with their surroundings. Sometimes people do that, too. Some people are much more outgoing than others. Like Kyle. Yes. And others are more... Like you. Right. You know, being out here surrounded by nature, I realize it takes all kinds to make a world. I guess what I'm trying to say is... I'm sorry I can't be more like Kyle. And I'm sorry if you're not having a very good time. I'm having a good time. This is fun. As much fun as windsurfing? <laughs> anyway, I, I just want to thank you for coming along on the hike with me. I know it wasn't exactly your first choice. Then we're even. Because I know you taking us on this trip wasn't exactly your first choice either. Okay. We're even. <laughs> What's for dinner? I'm hungry. Save it. We don't for two hours. I was just asking. Andrew! You should have been there. I must have windsurfed for a mile. And my dad sailed on his hands. So what'd you guys do? Find some real interesting moss? Hey, hey Jeff Cole. You should have been there, Andrew. I hey, hey, hey! You enjoying yourself? Oh, it's, uh... It's, it's getting a little cold. Cold? You think this is cold? Next year, I'm going to climb Mount Everest. Why? Oh, got to start small. <laughs> but first, an icy plunge. Hey, look at Kyle. Oh, leave it back. Oh, look at that. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, no. What a lousy oh. man. I don't feel too good. Hey, man, what's wrong? What's wrong? Uh, I have, like, this monster headache, and my stomach feels like someone shoved a knife through it. Just take it easy. Uh. Did you eat anything in the woods today? He had some wild berries. <laughs> my dad said they're harmless. Did you have any? No, just Jeff and my dad. Well, I'm not a toxicologist, but these symptoms indicate nightshade poisoning. Your dad went swimming. We have to find him. I'll find him. Good. Okay, boys, we have to move fast. Jason, run back to the van and get a dozen pieces of charcoal out of the bag. What for? There's no time, just do it. We need something to crush the charcoal. I'll get a rock. Good. And wash it in a small pot in the lake. Thoroughly. You got it? Hey, hang on, Jeff. We're gonna take care of you. Jeff 
Ah, good work, boys. Good work. One of the properties of charcoal is that it's extremely absorbent. We'll crush it, we'll mix it with some water, it should absorb the toxins. Dr. Jeff Coat! Dr. Jeff Coat! Dad! Are you all right? Jason, get another blanket and keep him dry. Andrew, come with me. Where's the other blanket? Andrew, it's up to you. Okay. Turn this charcoal into dust and fast. What is it? It's a man's drink. Oh. <coughs> it's a good thing Dr. Jeffcoat was here. It almost makes you want to study more. Yeah, let's not take this thing too far. <sighs> well. They seem to be doing pretty well. Heartbeat, breathing back to normal. We should get them to a hospital to be checked as soon as they wake up. Thanks, Dr. Jeffco. You saved their lives. Call me Dr. J. And anyway, it was a team effort. I told you he was okay. When? Do you know any scary stories? What are you doing? I have a perfect one. It involves... Parapsychology. You've heard of science fiction? This is science fact. OBE. OBE. Out of body experience. Ooh. Ooh. And it happened to me. I was on my way to the observatory. When my car mysteriously stalled, I started to get out of the car. Suddenly, I was blinded by bright lights. Then, a tiny hand touched my shoulder. 